adding some Floetrol to some Acrylics Basics um, paint, Liquitex is the brand. And I'm gonna show you what consistency I like in a majority of my pores. I think I just saw a gloppy piece. Yep, let me get that out of here. Welcome to Floetrol, gloppy, gloppy. And then I'm gonna show you what Opal 2.0 Luxe Powder does and what is the big deal. People use it in their art all the time. We get tagged in lots and lots of videos. And what I wanna show you today is that that is really, really gloppy still. And I see some chunks in there. Yep. Should have strained that Floetrol. Even if my Floetrol is new, I sometimes still get those chunks in there. Yep, I see tons of it. So thankfully for this little demo, I'm just gonna show you what Opal 2.0 does. I'm not um, here to create this like fine piece of art or anything. Um, so, oh my gosh, oh, I got a good, a good flow trial booger in that one. Okay, still a little thick. So melted milkshake in the Florida sun. That's the consistency that we want. Now for the black, I'm not gonna do it quite so thick. Look at that flow trial, those chunks. I, um, just to share some tricks. So what I typically do is add some cheesecloth on the edge, on the lid of the bottle, and then I pour through the cheesecloth. Now for right now, I just wanted to do a quick video with you. All right, there's our melted milkshake in the Florida sun, or the Belize sun. Now for the black, because when you add the Floetrol, you lose the black color. See, like it's all gray. And I want you to see though, what the Opal 2.0 does on black versus white. That's how I decided to start this whole experiment in the first place. So that's dark enough, it'll give you an idea. The color shifting powders, such as Opal 2.0, um, they color shift a lot and it will depend on what your base color is. So, let's just grab a little sample canvas here and get this gloppy one out of the way. All of that, that's glow powder. If it were dark right now, it would look like a galaxy on my table here. Let's pour a little white. I'm gonna do some experimenting. And let's get some of the black, which right now is just a dark gray. But I want you to see the difference regarding, let's just get the straight black, do that as well. So you can see what the Opal 2.0 is going to do on black versus white. All right, ah, I don't wanna get white in there. All right, you ready? Let it drizzle down just a bit for the for the beauty of it. And let's uh, get sprinkling here. Opal 2.0, Luxe Powder. Not quite glitter and not a mica either. Something amazing and magical in between. It will not fade and it is commercial grade. Here we go. How gorgeous is that? 
and how uniquely different. And that's important for you to know. So when you're adding it with a white pigment, whether it's paint or resin, it's gonna go to some soft mints, lavenders, golds, and then it's going to go blues and greens and teals when on black. All right, what color? What other color would you like me to try? While I'm here, let me get it all off the... Look at that. That's just from this. So it might look white in the bag and in the bowl, but it is magically delicious. Makes me think of some kind of amazing kid cereal. Okay, what color should I try next? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Let's do red and see what happens. Again, just some Alicotex basics. And stick. All right, there we've got our red laid down. Always keep a trash can right by me. Okay, let's all, let's take some guesses. What's gonna happen on red? Well, that's very interesting. Okay, let me tap it. So I'm seeing, what are you guys seeing? I'm seeing some lavender and some blues come out when it hits red. I'm trying to give you all different angles so you can see. Um, I mean, I'm seeing multiple different colors, but I'm seeing definitely gold and then some blue is trying to come out a bit. So it's a bit lavender or purpley. And here, look at this angle. So you could see the black, the white and the red. Should we do one last color and see what happens? All right, let's see. Not many of us use yellow. This exact color, cadmium yellow medium hue. But we're gonna today, because this is fun, and spring is coming, you know, it's nice to bust out a little bit of yellow, I think. So, my background is in design um, from working with Disney. They hired me when I was quite young. I was just 19. And uh, um, I began studying color psychology in yellow and definitely the oranges. I use a lot of the mandarins and oranges. But yellows signify happy and joy, though I realize in the art supply world, it can signify bird poop <laughs> because we're all trying to find an amazing gold. And then what happens is we use our gold and it ends up looking like bird poo and it's super frustrating. But in the big scheme of things, um, yellow signifies some really beautiful things. All right, let's take our guesses. Here's our Opal 2.0. Well, let's do this. Oh, I gotta get things out of my way, okay. Well, that just took yellow to all new classy levels. And I think we just got our gold actually, because look how gorgeous. It took away that harsh, yellowy yellow and softened it to look like a crystal chandelier, a golden crystal chandelier. So there we have it. I feel like somebody is saying, but what about blue? All right, I'm grabbing blue. I was just gonna wrap up the video, but this takes but a few seconds and I feel like someone out there is like, wait, I just want to see it on blue. Here we go. 
So now we know, don't be scared of yellow in art, but do add some Opal 2.0 for sure. All right, there's some gorgeous blue. And let's uh, see what it does. I use it in blue. I use Opal 2.0 Luxe Powder in blue all the time. And here is why. It's like a gorgeous teal. It's a Caribbean um, swipe of amazingness. Isn't that incredible? I love Opal 2.0 on blue. Look at that. So it remains after four and a half years being one of our absolute best selling Luxe powders because it's so versatile. Isn't that crazy? It's so much fun. Art should be fun. I know it can get stressful. We're trying to do a commission. We're trying to make some side money. Do your best to keep it fun and allow it to be the amazing meditative uh, modality that it can be for you. I know I need it for my mental health and happiness. And people do different things. But for me, art does wonders for me. Love you guys. WinModernArt.com to find your Opal 2.0. Have a blast and do tag me. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Uh, make sure you can mention that you used it. Facebook. Because I want to see what you do with your Opal 2.0. Love you guys.